Lions Mobile One. This squirt's fine. Anyway, we've got a fix. Woohoo! Didn't cost nothing, didn't have to go nowhere, didn't have to pay shipping or order a thing. Fix today, right now, get her done. So you go to hit the squirters and this happens. And like maybe a little bubbling from one side but not the other squirter. What happens is the plastic breaks. This is the actual nozzle that you see sticking up out of the hood. It looks like that. When you look at the bottom side, it just looks like something kind of dangling. There's this hanging down on a hose and then this is just separated like that. You can see where it snapped off and typically what happens, somebody's being a little rough under the hood or just time gets a hold of it and it fails. So to get this out you got to push in this side and then rock it up and then push the other side and rock it up and it'll come out. Get this off. It looks the same on both sides on this one. This is on 2012 Dodge Caravan. What you got to do is get a 90 degree pick or you can get T-pins. I use T-pins all the time just like using science class. You get them in a sewing craft or knit store or a pin or needle, safety pin, whatever and you pull the rubber back. What happens is these kind of cold weld and get stuck together so you got to get in around it like that. The 90 degree pick allows you to get some leverage so that you can peel it down like that. Lots of twisting so that you don't do any tearing. Get it to slip. Go around the outside like this. I'm telling you these are the way to go. I'll leave a link in the description where you can find that. And then you just twist and pull. When you twist it breaks the weld between the rest of it. Welding rubber to plastic. It can be done but it takes time. Uh, take a toothpick and then you want to look inside of here. We do not want to get any of this super glue that we're going to glue these together with inside of this. It's a temporary fix but it gets your squirter to work in the meantime. I like calipers so I've got these really cheap Harbor Freight type calipers and I measure what the hole is here. So I get in there and just kind of get it to snag on each side. And this is 2.7 millimeters. You can see the kind of hook action. I just kind of get it in there and just kind of pull and it's by braille you just kind of feel it. So 2.7 millimeters, I measure that out on my toothpick. My toothpick's only 1.4, but we just need enough passage to get the washer fluid to go through, the squirt juice to go through. We'll take some scissors, cut this at the maximum, because that's what we got, like that. Um, you can take silicone or something and wet the outside of it. I'm just going commando here. You can see that's enough path for your coolant to get through. We just don't want that to get blocked. In fact, I'm going to take sandpaper or rub it on the concrete or do something like this. I'm going to use a grinding wheel. I just want to get it as flat as possible so that it can kind of stick up in inside of this guy. When you look at this, you can't really see but it's a dead end. I'm going to spin that. I don't want that crud getting stuck in the nozzle. That would be problematic, right? I'm glad we left that in there. So that's going to go in here. I've got a mark already because this breaks a certain way. You have to have it land exactly the same, so you just spin it. And there's different kinds. This one works really good for a repair because it's got so much surface area to glue to, so you can have a really good repair. Other ones, you've got it breaks at a skinny little nozzle. You don't have as much room. For those, uh, there's things that you can do to just bypass it and put it on what's left. But with this one, we've got lots of room. But you see how that gets in there? That prevents any glue from flowing in there. Glue's going to try to do that. As I said, I found where my index point is, and I lost it. I can find it again because I scratched a little mark into it right on the top there. You can do a pen mark. Paint pens are great for this. Or nail. Polish. What we're going to do is we're going to put glue on this side and you just want it on the outside as far out as you can and then you can use your other side of the toothpick to move it away, part that we cut off. So I'm just going to try to get a layer of glue on the rim here. Less is more. You have to have a continual ring of glue all the way around so that it seals up and doesn't spray down your engine compartment. But that's all we're doing. I'm going to wipe off the excess, right? And then this one, because it's protruding up, uh, gloves. This one, because it's protruding up, it's easy to just kind of fill it in with what we took off of the other one. Again, when we press this together, we don't want a bunch of glue getting down inside and blocking a hole, or else all of this is just in vain. I want to get just enough to do the job, but less enough that we don't block it. You can tell I'm old because I'm going to relay a story about a school teacher talking about women's bathing suits as a lesson in class, and he didn't get fired. It says it should be like a woman's bathing suit. Long enough to cover the topic, short enough to keep it interesting. Not too much, not too little. If, he's, if you have a bunch of glob or what, so basically I'm doing a pre-pressing 
that makes all the glue lay flat. Kind of agitates it and gets it to dry quicker too. That little scrap of toothpick goes in the trash. This goes in the hole. It's just kind of a filler blocker. Uh, wrong one. <laughs> Wrong hole, wrong hole. We've made a good seal, but there's not so much that it'll block. Default, there we go. So then we just press them together. I'm just going to hold that. I actually have a vise I can put this in, and I'm just going to press it in there, set it in there, and just let it sit. I'm going to spin this around a few times and make sure that I've got a good passage, and we'll let it dry. If you don't have glue, you're not confident in doing something like this, that's okay. You can take the hose off of this one and uh, plug it with a screw or something, block it, and then at least you'll have one side but not the other. So I took uh, a little time, had this dry, spin the toothpick, get rid of it. It's important that it dries in this position. And then from there, we stick this back on how it goes, just like this. Let's see, it's got to go this way. I don't want to twist it later because the glue is going to continue to dry over the next 24 hours or so. And then realize, I shouldn't have done that yet. I think we can still get away with it. So I'm going to feed this through the hole and then stick the hose in it. This is the hole in the hood. And remember, we got this out by pushing in these sides. So to get this out, you got to push in this side and then rock it up and then push the other side and rock it up and it'll come out. So take this, stick it back in the same way it came little wiggle wiggle push down and it should click if it doesn't click push harder they're sometimes like a rubber washer or something you got to compress ta-da here's the bit that was hanging down before I'll just take that and gently push that in don't want to break it again squeeze it like that and it looks good let's see if it works so I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit and then we'll try it and see how it goes so this is how that little nozzle turned out. The good news is when you hit the squirter, it squirts fine. You can certainly hear it and you can see the result of it. Let's get in and see if you can see it spraying. The camera doesn't want to focus for whatever reason. Anyway, we've got a fix. Woohoo! Didn't cost nothing, didn't have to go nowhere, didn't have to pay shipping or order a thing. Fix today, right now, get her done. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like and subscribe. Bonus footage at the end. Right, here we go. Ready? Good enough.
Well, they'll have stories to tell. Let's see if I can get this out of here. That was easy. Boy, that turned out a success. What you do, huh? What you do? Thank <laughs> you. 